may mean that there are thieves about. There are elderly and kids in the village, you know? Although the Milliveth are stationed here, no one dares to go out anymore. I understand. Please help reassure the people in the village and tell them everything's going to be fine with the Milliliths standing guard. Traveler, let's go and... Thieves must think there are mostly elderly and children living in Chinksa village, all too weak to defend themselves. Otherwise, they would never dare commit such a blatant crime. This is absolutely awful. We cannot let such a matter go unpunished. Let's see if we can find any clues here before we plan our next step. they lead. The footprints continue here. Let's keep following them. The footprints continue here. Let's keep following them. Please, this is all just a big misunderstanding. <laughs> a misunderstanding, you say? If so, then tell me, why are you hiding here? Please, good sir, this really is just a misunderstanding. <laughs> I would never dream of getting anywhere near the Feiyun Commerce Guild shipment. Something's happening over there. Let's go have a look. Oh, the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Please, save your breath. Restrain this fellow! Tightly now! We mustn't let him get away! Yes, young master. Uh, I was sure it was an evil spirit. Turns out it's the treasure hoarders again. Ching Chun Chun Yun! Hello! Well, hello, dear traveler. Our fates cross once again. What brings you here? Uh, excuse me. Please, tell me what is happening here. Ah, uh, yes. Allow me to explain. It so happens that every year during the Lantern Night, the Feiyun Commerce Guild transports supplies to various villages outside of Liyue Harbor. Family rules stipulate that the supplies must be personally escorted by a family member. Because my older brother went last year, the duties have fallen to me this time around. Oh! So what's Chang Yun doing here? Chang Yun happened to be visiting, so I cordially invited him to join us for the journey. Oh! I see! So you thought there was an evil spirit. I see that you are not familiar with the story of old. It is said that fireworks were once called firecrackers and were used to ward off evil spirits and the like. In ancient times, Liyue was plagued by evil spirits. As people gathered together to celebrate the annual festival, the Yang energy would intensify and evil spirits were thus attracted to the fringes of the city by the strong scent. Liyue Harbor was under the gracious protection of Rex Lapis, so the spirits dared not enter the city. However, in order to drive the spirits away, people made firecrackers and lit them near the city gates. This festival is now known as the Lantern Rite. It was my intention to travel since I happened to have a ship- Sincho said he learned the story. The text vividly describes the appearance and even- Anyway, when we arrived upon searching the area, we- Fortunately, I was swift enough to catch. He insists the matter is merely a- Good sir, just hear me out. Everyone knows the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Had we known it was your merchant caravan, 
We never would have dared to attack. The master of the Feyun Commerce Guild is famous for his generosity and noble deeds. A, a, a true hero of the people. <laughs> so, you see, this is nothing but a big misunderstanding. We, we didn't want any trouble with the guild. What you mean to say is that you were targeting someone else then? Well? I... Uh, well, uh, well, just trust me. We were definitely not trying to steal your goods. Master Singcho, I would like to borrow a few of your staff to escort the thief to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. As for the bounty, we will pay you afterward. It is my humble duty to uphold justice. No remuneration shall be necessary. Come then, see that this thief is taken to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Yes, young master, leave it to us. You heard him. Take this man over there and make sure he's secured. Tie each of his fingers separately if you have to. He's not gonna pull anything under our watch. Wait a second. Please also deliver this message to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. <clears throat> it's very likely that this thief is related to the recent fireworks theft in Chingsa Village. Make sure they have someone question him. Thoroughly. <laughs> so the plot thickens. Is your task clear? We mustn't disappoint the Yuong. Yes, young master, I understand. We'll be on our way. I've heard many good things about you, Master Xingqiu. Thank you for your assistance. I hardly lifted a finger. Think nothing of it. Everyone, my intuition tells me that there could be more than one group of treasure hoarders in this area. More than one group? Oh, you've got quite a keen eye too, Chong Yun. During our search, I found scattered sets of footprints differing from those on the road. There may still be other treasure hoarders waiting to ambush passers-by. When I was chasing the treasure hoarders earlier, I noticed that they were nearly unarmed and very few in numbers. If they truly intended to ambush the Veiyun Commerce Guild, they must have overestimated themselves. If you ask me, they didn't seem to be staging an ambush, but rather it appeared as if they were waiting for someone. It appears they may be the thief's accomplices. They were probably hiding here to wait for the stolen goods. What exactly are the stolen goods, if I may ask? Taking advantage of the elderly and children. What a loathsome group of criminals. Lady Kuching, don't fret about manpower. Chongyun, let's go lend them a hand in Chingsa Village, shall we? Yeah, just leave it to us. We can handle a bunch of thieves. Thank you. That will help alleviate the crisis in Chingsa Village. Unfortunately, the footprints we were following end here. I don't know where we should go next. It seems we were only a moment away from catching all the treasure hoarders. Aww... Ka-ching? <laughs> Thank you, Master Xingqiu. I'll leave Chingsa Village under your watch. Most assuredly, Lady Kuching. <sighs> it's fortunate our paths crossed with those two. It's so cool to fight for justice! The thieves who stole the fireworks haven't revealed themselves yet. I'll go have a look around. Traveler, please go take a rest in Chingsa Village. I've troubled you enough already. I can handle the rest of this matter myself. Uh, Kuching, are you planning to look for- Oh, wait! You're in the Liwei Chisi! At least it'll be safer than investigating on your- Yes, I agree, but we are short-handed at the moment. I can handle these trivial matters myself. The fireworks that were transported to Chingsa Village were quite bulky. They couldn't have gone far. Way I see it, if they were clever enough, they would conceal the stolen goods somewhere and then come pick them up later. All I have to do is find out where they hid the fireworks and then return to the location with reinforcements. Don't worry. I am not reckless, and I won't carelessly alert the thieves. You can certainly trust me by now. Well, when you put- It's settled then. Traveler, Paima- <laughs> Thank you. 
Fate is called a suck, or it cannot be changed. Can it be reversed? It can only but be accepted.
the companions! If we've got nothing else to do, why don't I tell you a story? are for now, but friends are forever.
Rest assured, all is quiet here in Chinksa Village. Chang Yun is guarding the outside, and I'm guarding the inside. Not a problem in sight. Good. I've made some progress and- Oh? What are you planning? Is it time to strike? Let's go! Traveler, Paimon, you are just in time. I looked everywhere, and I found some clues regarding the treasure hoarders. Besides wagon tracks, I also came across bits and pieces of fireworks packaging scattered on the road. Following those clues, I was able to finally locate the missing fireworks. But there was no sign of treasure hoarders. No, I think they might be just overly careless. I seem to have found the location where they've been stashing all their stolen goods. They must have thought it was well hidden and deemed it unnecessary to post any guards. The amount of fireworks they've amassed there is astonishing. Not only did they steal the ones in Chingsa Village, but also from other locations too. They've gathered all the stolen goods there. I've asked the Mililith on guard at Chingsa Village to report this to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. They will organize a search around that warehouse. Now that the Mililith is involved, you don't need to handle this yourself anymore! The treasure hoarders are notoriously cunning, and they may even have lookouts. If they notice anything suspicious, they will move the fireworks and our single lead will be lost. I have to keep an eye on the situation. Uh, you're not really thinking that you can take all- No, I am not that reckless. I just want to invent- But now that I have your help- So you really are considering it? Okay, then there's no- Hide yourselves. Let's wait. Hey, boss. You think we have enough fireworks now? Ha! <laughs> Are you kidding? This ain't nowhere near enough. Ah, uh, but boss, if we want more fireworks, we're gonna have to steal them in the city. Ain't gonna be easy. Hmm. You got a point. All right. Then we steal those things that make a real loud bang but don't light up real pretty. What do they call them? Ah, yeah. Firecrackers. Those will do the job. All we need to do is make some real ruckus. As long as we distract the Millilith, the other hoarders can do their end of the job. You get it? Got it, boss. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you. We're gonna hit the jackpot this time. Yeah, but, uh, boss, all our boys are out scouting around. Don't you think we need a few more to guard the stash? Hey, don't worry about it. The Millilith are swamped with lantern right. They won't have time to come out here. All right, move it, boys. Just a few more batches and we'll be... Uh-oh. Hey, boss, we got trouble. Huh? What happened? The jig is up, boss. The, the Millilith are coming, and it seems they've already caught our scouts. If one of the boys hadn't set off a firework to warn us, we would have been completely blindsided. Boss, let's run. But how did the Millilith find out about us? And so quickly, too. Ah, fine. Leave the fireworks and let's split. They won't be catching us! It's time to make our move. Ready? Let's go! Drop your weapons and surrender immediately! Ha! Get out of my way! You got a death witch or something? I'll show you! Huh? Wait a second. You're... Lady Kutchin! The you are. <laughs> so you do recognize me then? Say it one more time. Drop your weapon and surrender. Now! Who would have thought we'd run into the Yu Hung all the way out here? All right, orders. Looks like the Yu Hung wants to play. We'll show you. All right, so you want to do this the hard way? We. we surrender, Yu Hung. Now, I want some answers. What were you planning to do with the stockpile of fireworks? We... we just... 
Tell the truth, and I might go easy on you. We... Uh, fine. We were gonna smuggle these fireworks into the city and ignite them during the Lantern Rite's opening ceremony. The fireworks are really bright and loud and would definitely raise some havoc. We were gonna rob the city while everyone's distracted by the explosions. But, uh, we didn't seem to have enough fireworks, so... Oh? So you mean you had more than one group of thieves stealing fireworks? Yeah, that's right. Originally, I had all the hoarders out stealing fireworks, but then one of them got caught by the Feyun Commerce Guild and was arrested. I really didn't get it. Why did the Feyun Commerce Guild get involved? We were only stealing from the government. No, uh, what I meant is, uh, well, I was worried that the guy who got arrested would rat us out. Who would have guessed we'd end up running into you like that? Hey, didn't one of you just say that the Millilith were coming too? Yeah, that's right. I wonder how the Millilith even found out we had dispatched scouts. They somehow captured almost all of them. If someone hadn't alerted us, we would have all been caught. Well, you did get caught. Well, uh... Yeah. It appears that the Millilith managed to get the captured treasure hoarder to talk. There may still be other treasure hoarders in the area. We should head elsewhere just to be safe. Traveler. Please escort the treasure hoarders back to Chingsa Village and hand them over to the Millilith stationed there. I'll be there once I am finished inspecting this place. Yes, you too. I'll see you in Chingsa Village. This is the last batch of fireworks that I can get. Please ensure that there will be no further problems. Don't worry. The Yu Hong will be taking care of this personally. And with us on guard, I assure you it'll be safe. Yes, indeed. Oh, it appears the Traveler has returned. And with two others, no doubt. It's definitely dangerous to infiltrate an enemy area like that. If only I was there to fight alongside you. Come now. We both know the Traveler is most capable. <laughs> but who would have known we performed such a noble deed? We had arrested the treasure hoarder earlier by mere happenstance. Yeah, talk about a coincidence! It seems that justice always finds its way into the world. It is in fateful moments that miracles are born. So it was you! You horrible brutes are the ones who stole the fireworks? Just the sight of you two makes my blood boil. Please, calm down. I doubt they'll be causing any more trouble now that they're in custody. Thank you very much, Traveler. But may I ask, why has Lady Kuching not returned with you? Lady Kuching was worried there'd be more treasure hoarders lurking about- Oh, I see. Yes, Lady Ku- I also heard that mo- Anyway, you- And thus, our chapter has finally reached its timely conclusion. I am partial to fire- Huh? Why the hurry to get back to the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Inevitably, affairs do become busier around fest- Huh? You mean you're assigning- Tis only my duty as your dearest friend. Work before play, as they say. I'm sure you understand. Oh, alright. As the saying goes, many hands make light work. As long as work is assigned to the right people, everything will proceed without a hitch. If you ask me, I think speaking eloquently is just a guise for assigning work to everybody else. All right, all right. I shall tr farewell, traveler. By the way, do you know when... There are not many fireworks in the second batch that I brought, so... I'm worried that we can't achieve the show's desired effect.
this. What did I do? Hey! Coaching! Uh, uh huh? What treasure hoarders? We heard an explosion and thought it might be treasure hoarders sending signals to one another again. Uh, I see. Sorry, that's not the case. I saw a few sticks of fire. Sure enough, it seems... I accidentally lit the fuse. So no enemies? Whew. Well, <laughs> I apologize. I didn't mean to alarm you. Fortunately, there are... Great! The case of the... Otherwise, those beautiful fireworks would have gone to waste, and the whole show would be... Re By the way, Kuching, you're the one in charge of the fireworks show, which means you... Yes, of course. The best view should be from the Jade Chamber. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten my promise. But for leave the rest of this to me. Okay. Yes. <sighs> I'll meet you when I am done. Now Paimon gets why Lady Ningguang is so worried about could. Oh yeah! We Zhang Li said he'd wait for us. Hey! Is that who Paimon thinks it is? Yes, you are quite right. I shall take your wise words to heart, sir. They will certainly be most helpful in my next performance. You are welcome, Miss Yun. Your willingness to hear suggestions is indeed impressive. It's no wonder your opera performance has only been getting better. No, I'm afraid that's not always the case. Though I am still young, I can be quite arrogant at times. I do not always accept advice so readily, but your wisdom has spoken to me. Zhang Li! We're back! Ah, you've returned. Hmm? You are also acquaintances? Yes, we sure are! Not everyone gets the privilege of meeting someone so knowledgeable and discreet as Mr. Zhang Li. You are indeed well-connected, Traveler. I am flattered, Miss Yun. It is an honor for an ordinary person like myself to have met the Traveler. Wow. Did he really just say that? I'm sure you must have matters to discuss. I have an appointment with Xin Yan, so if you'll excuse me, I'll take my leave. Very well. Goodbye, Miss Yun. See you around, Yun Jin! So, tell me, what have you learned from your trip? Hmm, I see. Well, Traveler, what do you make of all their opinions? Yeah, Paimon already started creating her own story on the way here. The goal is to convince Kuching to rest more with just a simple story, right? If that's the case, then Paimon thinks we can use food as our theme. Think about it. Who doesn't like delicious food? And when it comes to eating, everyone has an opinion. It's the perfect angle for our story. <laughs> Paimon knows just what to write. Let's say there's a chef in Lua who's very talented at cooking. He opens a massive restaurant at Liyue Harbor, and lots of customers come every day, so he's always super busy. Then... Uh, well... Uh, mm, how should the story go from there? Ooh, that's good! Uh, but wait, didn't we say he's really good at cooking? That wouldn't make sense. There's no need to jump to the conclusion. Why don't you elaborate more on the chef? More about the chef? You mean both good and bad things? Yes. To gain one's empathy, there must be familiarity. I would like to understand this chef character of ours a little deeper. Hmm. Paimon didn't think this far. Uh, why don't you take it from here? Since you've spoken with others familiar with Kuching, why don't we integrate their thoughts into your story? That will allow it to become all the more convincing. Um, okay. Let Paimon think. Hmm. What did Cloud Retainer say? As one sows, so do they reap. And the joy of reaping is what one yearns for. 
<laughs> that was quite poetic, Paimon. Bravo. <laughs> oh, now Paimon remembers. Cloud Retainer said that if she spends all her efforts working on a machine with no time to test the outcome, then she'd be like a chef who doesn't get to try their own food. Problems are bound to pop up. Yes. It is most unwise to put the cart before the horse. Uh-huh. That's exactly what she said. So, let's make that happen to the chef in the story. He's great at cooking, but he can't enjoy his own food. Hmm. But there must be a reason why he doesn't partake in the delicacies he makes. Right. It's because he's super busy. He receives the customers, he takes the orders, and he does all cooking himself. <laughs> that should keep him busy enough. He's so busy every day that he doesn't even have time to take a break, which obviously also means he doesn't have time to eat. Hey, it's just a story. Besides, it's supposed to leave a powerful impression. Kind of like fireworks. Yes. The chef is unwilling to delegate tasks to others. He's overconfident about his own cooking abilities and tries to accomplish everything on his own. Paimon already kind of feels sorry for him. Oh, right! That's what the chef doesn't understand. And there's another saying. Um, what was it again? Oh, yeah! A rested worker is an efficient worker. That's what Yamfei said. So, the chef gets busier and busier to the point where he can't stand up straight anymore and he has big dark circles under his eyes. The customers tell him to take a few days off to get some rest, but the chef won't listen. His judgment is clouded by the chores before him. He is oblivious to mountains in the distance, the bigger picture. Eventually, the chef falls ill and his cooking becomes far worse than when he started. The customers can't convince him to rest and they don't like his cooking anymore. So they stop coming to his restaurant. Rest is always of great importance. Although we may come across various difficulties in our lives, pushing ourselves is never a good modus operandi. The story is quite simple, without embellishment. Yet, deeply meaningful. If our listener is sensible, then she should quickly grasp the meaning contained within. You're saying Paimon made a good story? Sincerity can allow one to see clearly, and earnest advice can provide sound direction. The story is indeed good. The Yuhang is an adroit leader. I am certain she will understand the message you are trying to convey. Given that the case involving the treasure hoarders has come to an end, she is inevitably tired. Now will be the ideal moment to speak with her. If all goes well, I think your story will be a success. Hear that? Zhang Li says Paimon's story has what it takes. If anyone knows a good story, he does. Quick, let's go find Kuching. Matter has finally come to an end, but we mustn't lower our guard. Increase patrols around Chingsa Village and coordinate our people at other fireworks locations to prevent any further theft. Yes, Lady Kuching. And by the way, the Ministry has requested the Millilith to increase security along travel routes. How is that proceeding? It's all been taken care of. However, due to various reasons, there are still some blind spots in the city. Have we drafted a new patrol map? Please, give me a copy and I'll look it over when I have time. Understood. 
The patrol map is still being drafted, but it will be ready soon. Okay. Also, I... Oh, excuse me, Lady Kuching? Your friends are here. Hi, Kuching! Still working? Aren't we going to see the fireworks? Oh, yes. But I thought we'd meet at the Jade Chamber. Why have you come here? We walked around the city just like you told us to. It's very nice. But it would be even nicer if you could join us. Do you still have work to do? It's nothing urgent, really. Just some trivial matters. But I wish to get it done as soon as possible. You can leave it to us, Lady Kuching. You've been working hard for a long time, so you should get some rest. If I'm not mistaken, the Traveler is here to remind you to take a break. That's right! Something so important that we must speak with you personally, right now! Oh, really? In that case... Jing Chung, I'll let you take charge. Thank you. Understood. I'll handle things from here. <sighs> Traveler and Paimon, let's go to the Jade Chamber. The view there is nicer and it's much more private. Perfect for talking. Well, here we are. What was it you wanted to talk about? Yeah, we want to tell you a story from this beautiful view. What do you say? All right, I'm listening. So it turns out we just heard some big news into that. A very talented chef is in trouble. Oh, is the chef from Liyue? From Liyue Pavilion or Shinua Kiosk, perhaps? No, no, uh, the chef is from... Mondstadt, yeah, and he's really, really good. He had a restaurant right next to the city gate. He was super efficient, and his cooking was really delicious. So his restaurant had been getting more and more popular. In fact, he became so busy that the worker from the florist next door asked him, Sir, why don't you find someone to help you in the restaurant? But the chef brushed the idea aside, saying that he's the only one that can turn top-quality ingredients into world-class dishes. No one could help him. Hmm. Well, confidence is an essential trait for a good chef. He must be an excellent cook. That's what everyone was saying. But surprisingly, after just six months, no one would dine in his restaurant anymore. Hmm? Shocking, right? Do you have any guess why? Hmm... Maybe the chef had fallen ill, or...? Eh, wrong answer! You tell her, Traveler! Ding, ding, ding! Yep, it's because the chef was too stubborn. He would keep himself busy every day and try to make the most delicious dishes for all his guests. But he forgot that he's only human and needs time to eat and rest. He was so busy that he didn't even have time to eat and couldn't even taste his own cooking. He was unwilling to seek help even when he's tired because he thought he's the only one capable of cooking the best dishes. Eventually, the people around him felt like they couldn't help him anyway. So they just left. And because he had forgotten the original taste of his dishes, he was no longer a good chef. In the end, his restaurant had no choice but to close for good. Uh, oh. I see. He's overly confident, which disappoints the people around him, and he's so impatient that he ends up losing sight of his original purpose. <sighs> so... That's the whole story? Oh! Um... Yep, that's the whole thing! Hey! Didn't you just say that Paima made a great story? Hmm? Hmm? Did you come up with that story? Oh! Uh, no! We just... Uh... <laughs> hmm... How should I describe it? 
the story is very simple, and I suppose the ending isn't really surprising. Think before you act and don't overexert yourself. Of course, I understand these concepts in theory, but... When tasks come to me personally, it is easy to lose sight of the bigger picture. Yes. Up in the mountains, we can see the mist in the clouds. Out in the ocean, we can see fog on the sea. That's why, from time to time, we need to examine where we are, remove the fog, and feel our heart. So, how do you feel now, Kuching? How do I feel? Hmm... Deep down inside, I wish I could slow down time. That way, I could finally take the opportunity to walk around the city, see the people I wish to see, and watch the fireworks. Thinking back, I used to be even more impatient. My colleagues would resign after just three months of working with me. You're completely right. It's important to know your boundaries. But I am getting better. You can tell, can't you? And... I did make a promise with you, didn't I? We agreed to enjoy the fireworks show together this year. So... Happy Lantern Rite, Traveler and Paimon. I'm very happy to be here and enjoy this moment together with you. I've poured all my best effort into this fireworks show. And now that we're here, I sincerely hope you will enjoy it. I feel very fortunate to be right here, enjoying the fireworks, and enjoying the view of Liyue Harbor. Happy Lantern Rite. <laughs> Happy Lantern Rite. And... Thank you. Lady Ningguang prepared for you has arrived. <sighs> Traveler, wait here for a moment. Don't go anywhere. Huh? Must be something important. Ningguang had her personal tailor make it for me, said it's an imported style. Well, do you like it? Wow, it's beautiful! <laughs> it's time. Traveler, please enjoy the grand finale of this year's Lantern Rite. The fireworks show. Check you out. Looking pretty fancy. Only a true treasure catches the eye of Captain Beto. Seems I've struck gold with this one. Better 
better way to celebrate. <laughs> Dr. Baiju, sorry to trouble you again this year. <laughs> no trouble at all. Oh, lantern right. <laughs> Happy lantern right. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Happy lantern right! <laughs> 